All right, what's up guys? So as you can see behind me, my Jeep Wrangler is behind me, like always. Um, I don't know. I've just been looking at it recently. I think it's time for a little bit of a change. I kind of want to just change up the way it looks. Um, I know when I first got the Jeep, I did two mods to it. Two mods that were pretty much, well, I shouldn't say I did two mods. There were two mods already on the Jeep that I kind of want to take off and I kind of want to just like undo. Um, if you can't tell, uh, it has to do with the, the front end, essentially. So let me show you guys. Actually, it's the eyelids and the like little front grill inserts. I don't know. I'm kind of over that whole look. I mean, it kind of kind of looks cool, but it's kind of kiddish in my way. I don't know. In my view, I should say. And also, the bad thing about these, they keep in heat. Um... So yeah, I kind of want to just take these out and take those out and just run it with just a black front without the eyelids or without those grill inserts. I think it will change up the look a little bit and just, I don't know, make it look less cartoonish. Does that make sense? I mean, I think it, it looks okay, but I don't know. It's time for a change. But yeah, so anyway, so with that being said, let's get to work. Let's start taking off the front end, um, the grill. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully this looks okay. Hopefully you guys can even see me, because I'm like, I know I keep walking into the shade and then out of the shade. It's kind of hot outside. And also, on a quick note, I do want to say, because I know a lot of people, they do have questions like this. It really doesn't take that much to do YouTube when it comes down to, like, equipment. I'm literally filming this on my camera right now. or well, not on my camera, I shouldn't say. On my phone right now, because my actual camera is dead and it's charging. But I went to film, and, like, literally, I'm just using my phone and... I'm using like a normal like a microphone so this is like a quick and easy setup if someone wants to do youtube you can do it it doesn't take that much like equipment just start and just start doing stuff i'm not saying my channel is like huge or anything like that but you know just having consistency so if you're out there and you're trying to like if you're leaning towards like should i do should i do youtube it's a worth it what do i need to buy literally just start with whatever you have and uh yeah just keep building up from there but anyways Let's jump into this video. Let's get this thing started because it's hot outside and yeah, I have other things I want to do. So let's get started. fiance her tire pressure light kept coming on so we we're just filling up air on that so now I'm off to take off all of the stuff the attachments on the front grill and just make sure that it looks okay I'm gonna try to clean it off real quick and just take it off uh, all the parts but I will say I did take off those side steps let me show you guys going back and forth of taking these side steps off uh, I think I'm gonna just leave them off these things are really hard to take off still because you have to unscrew these from the front and from the back. You have to hold like a clip in the back to like get these off. I got some of them off, some of them I didn't. But yeah, I'll get to that eventually. But you can see. These one I got off, had to use some uh, WD-40 to kind of help, but it's not that big of a deal. I will get these off eventually. But for right now, I'm gonna focus on just getting this taken care of. I'm gonna also, while I'm here, check my oil, make sure my oil is, my le oil levels are okay, just because the 3 8 do burn some oil. I haven't had any problems, but I just wanna make sure. So I, anytime, I just give a quick check just to make sure everything's okay. One of these? Yeah. Isn't it?
All right, a couple minutes later, all of that stuff is off. This stuff, I didn't realize I had this like 3M tape kind of on the back of it. So I'm gonna have to like wash and try to clean this stuff up. I'm gonna probably use some, after I wash it up, use some rubbing alcohol as well. I might try to take off this plastic dip. It's like not on super thick. So that would probably be a pain. Um, I don't know, I might keep it black. I might paint it actually over and just do it in like a deeper shade of black. Just make it look nicer. But I need to really like just clean this entire grill and use some rubby alcohol and get off all this 3M tape. I mean, the good thing is kind of peeling off. It's just some of it's kind of stuck on because it's been on there for I don't know how long. I had the Jeep for a year and a half. I don't know how long the previous owner had the stuff on there. So it's gonna be a bit of a cleanup job, but I think it'll look okay once I'm done. Honestly, if this grill is completely trashed, I might just look to get a replacement. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can get a factory black one or I can get a factory another blue, which wouldn't look bad just to get a completely all blue one again. Um, I just can't get over it. It looks so funny without the grill on. So funny. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to start working on this and um, I'll check in with you guys once I have this kind of figured out what I want to do. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is actually an update like a really long time later. Um, my plan is to actually sand this down. And I'm going to just paint it with like actual paint. Don't mind that. That's just the dogs in the background. I'm going to actually paint this. So I'm going to sand it down using a couple of different grits of sandpaper then I'm gonna like paint over it but yeah I think I'm gonna just actually do a real paint job instead of this plasti dip and this like rhino line type stuff so yeah let's see how it turns out All right, what's up guys so I realized I never actually finished filming this video like I started this like two weekends ago I never finished filming it and while wow, there's like a giant spider like right there giant spider but anyways yeah so what i have winded up doing was took the bumper off i sanded it down um to get off just to make it more rough and then i actually used more of like a real spray paint i spray painted it black first and then i went over that with some plasti dip and some rhino like it's not exactly vinyl lining, it's like the rubber bed lining stuff. So I used actually three different things to go over it. Um, only because when I first did the first couple coats of the normal paint, even though I sanded it down, it still, it didn't look exactly right. I don't know how to explain it. It was still seemed a little bit, granted maybe, maybe if I would have done like, I don't know, seven coats, it would have looked, might have looked better. But um, where did that spider just go? Literally the spider I just showed you guys is like gone. I'm gonna step right over here. <laughs> Anyways, with that being said, I did the normal paint and then I went over it again a couple other times with some more paint with different type of textures. I wanted to see what would look the best. Um, I think overall though it looks better now that I don't have the grill inserts and like the angry eyes look. Um, but it's still blacked out. But I think it's just it's a little bit different look. I was kind of sick and tired of having the same look since I've essentially bought the jeep it had that look on it so i think this is a different direction maybe i'll change it up a bit in a little bit but for right now i think it looks good the way it is but anyways like always thank you guys so much for watching this video if you like this video give it a like check out some of the other videos that i've done um if you're if you're interested follow me on instagram my instagram is here and uh yeah guys i'll see you guys in the next video see ya